is worthy from the rising of the sun until the going down of the sun. Jesus is worthy. He's worthy. we find our battle. They told us with prayer and praise. We tell God thank you for the instruction on this morning and that Romans 8.31 says, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? We tell God thank you on this morning. Hallelujah. We tell God thank you. Thank you, God, for fighting the battle. Thank you, God, for coming to our rescue. Thank you, God. When we would have messed up, when we would have made a fool of ourselves, you shut our mouth. We tell God thank you on this morning. Hallelujah. This is how we fight our battle, with prayer and praise. We got some direction. We got some instruction. Be still and know that I am God. Woo. He'll show up. And guess what? He'll be right on time. Woo. This is how I fight my battle. With prayer and praise. Tell God about it. He'll fix it. He'll touch man.
say breakthrough. Today is your day of breakthrough. Today is your day of breakthrough. Just begin to cry out to him. Begin to cry out to him. Today is your day of breakthrough. Breakthrough. What the enemy held up. God is releasing it. Breakthrough. showing out but pastor said it pastor said next Sunday Vanessa show y'all see see what you're doing <laughs> we tell God all like, I can hear is breakthrough hey. breakthrough hallelujah I don't know what you need today but I hear in the spirit breakthrough just bless the Lord for breakthrough Thank you. We thank God for the breakthrough. It's already done. We tell God, thank you. We ask you to please be seated if you can. I'm going to stand before you and bring you some announcements. But we tell God, thank you for his move. Any good? Won't he come through? We tell God, thank you. Come on now. <laughs> Pastor said, when he stand up, don't be rushing him. Y'all in here dancing and carrying on when he come forth with the word. Y'all ready? <laughs> we tell God thank you. Hallelujah. On our announcements this morning, we tell God thank you. At 1:30 today, we will be having Spanish service. Wave your hand, Pastor Adele. We tell God thank you for Pastor Adele in our Spanish service today at 1:30. Please come and join. We have baptism service. On Wednesday, April the 17th at 7 p.m. here at Father's Cup Overflow Ministry. Take me to the water. We tell God thank you for that on April the 17th. Father's Cup Overflow Ministry will be visiting Anderson Oaks on next Sunday at 1.30 p.m. We tell God thank you that we're going to start back going down. Before the pandemic, that was something that we did. So we tell God thank you that we are getting back. Friday, April the 19th, we'll be at Crown Park at 4.30 p.m. And we know in May is coming up. That's going to be Memorial Day weekend at Crown Park for our golf tournament. So we ask you to get ready. Keep in mind, you know what we do on this day. You know the people that you call to help you throughout the year. And if you have new people, please keep in mind our golf tournament is coming. Food Pantry will be Saturday, April the 20th. We will have our church anniversary and family and friends day on Sunday, April the 28th. Woo! We tell God thank you. We will serve dinner at the service. And we're asking our members to bring vegetables, dessert, or salad. The sign-up sheet of the list of items that we need is out in the front, so please sign up. If you have any questions, please see Sister Jean, Sister Shadana, or Sister Lachina, or Sister Kathy. And again, the sign-up sheet is in the vegetable. We tell God thank you for our church anniversary and our family and friends day. And um, Sister Vanessa is working on getting us a flyer that we can send out. We tell God thank you for that. Um, we have our women's prayer brunch. Hallelujah. On uh, May 11th, 2024, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., 
And our speaker will be Evangelist Mona Williams. We ask you to RSVP Sister Vanessa or Sister Jean. We tell God thank you for our women's prayer brunch. Summer Learning, June 24th through July 28th. Parents, I'm, Lord have mercy. I'm giving you a whole month. <laughs> okay, let me say it again. <laughs> Sorry about that. June 24th through July 8th is our summer learning program. Parents, we sign up through the end of April, so we have to get busy. Please see Elder Rose after service to sign your children up. Our children don't make decisions. We make the decisions for them. This is two weeks out of their summer that they can be enriched and, you know, keep their mind going and focus for school. It is a great program. Please sign your children up. On our church announcements. Uh, I just want to just say, just to reemphasize that not only um, is it about education, but mm -hmm. we also about finance mm -hmm. and folks to learn how to save and invest and those kinds of things. We have the guest speakers that come in. It is an amazing uh, project that our folks have created here. And so I just want to make sure that you don't go do business as usual, right? Then you're out of business. Mm -hmm. You do business as usual, you're out of business. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs to know that you do creative things to add to our children to give them a future. So I just wanted to say something about that while we're talking about it. Amen. And, and we said, this, okay, that's neat. But it'll only be neat if you're in it and you have children signed up, not only your children, um, but children in your neighborhood get them lined up for it. Amen. Amen. On our weekly services, Sunday school is at 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning worship service at 10.30. We have a leadership conference call at 7 p.m. on the second, third, fourth, and fifth Monday of each month via Zoom. We have Wednesday night Bible study and prayer at 7 o'clock p.m. via Zoom and YouTube. And we tell God thank you for our Bible study and prayer. This, um, we're in the book of Proverbs and teaching on wisdom. And we need wisdom in order to operate. We got to know how to treat, how to conduct ourselves and how to treat God's people because God's people are important to him. And even though if they're not saved and they're not acting right, they are still God's children. Because while we were yet sinners, he died for us. And we tell God, thank you. Thank you for those wonderful, that wonderful praise and announcements. You see, as you can see, though, we don't just get announcements. We get praise. The breakthrough is here. We're now down to uh, tithes and offering. There are many different ways you can do it. You can do it by PayPal, Cash App. You can mail it. You can call your elder. We'll come pick you up. We'll bring it for you. We'll bring you also. Let us not be robbers of God. He says, bring ye tithes. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for the opportunity to be in your house, Lord Jesus, and bless your name, Lord Jesus. Father God, we ask you to bless this offering, Lord. Let it be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Well, y'all done praise. And y'all done worship. So I guess y'all ready for a word. Are you ready for a word? There is a word. Matthew 10, 19, and 20 says, When they delivered you over to not be anxious, how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say would be given to you in that hour. For it is not who speak, but the Spirit of the Father speaking through you. So after our praise and worship team, give us one more selection. you hear from no other than our pastor, our pastor, Pastor Andy Anderson. have experienced God's goodness and his grace and mercy. Hallelujah. I know he's good to me even while I don't deserve it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you just worship along with us as we honor the goodness of God.
the goodness of God. The Lord keeps chasing after me. I will sing of the goodness of God. You've been so good. You've been so kind. I will sing of the goodness of God. You've been good even though I don't deserve it. I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life you've been faithful. Oh, good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, put those hands together. All my life you've been faithful, and you've been so good. Has it been good to anybody? With every breath that I made, yes, I will sing, I will sing of the goodness of God. Has it been good to anybody? Has it been good to anybody? I can't say it for you. Has it been good? I know he's been better to me than I've been to myself. And I will sing. Come on, y'all give God a hand praise for the praise and worship team. They got it warm in here today, amen. Amen. They said they're going to sing to the goodness, about the goodness of God. There are a whole lot of things that we have to talk about, and God has given us vocabulary, to, to, and it keeps expanding the vocabulary. We keep coming up with words, and, right? And, and, and when we give out of something to talk about, sometimes people give out of something to talk about. I listen to them. I say, you don't gave out of something to talk about. <laughs> that means that you should be talking about the goodness. Come on. Of all the things we have to talk about. about. Amen. When a news station stays on 24 hours, that means it's repeating itself. Right? right. And we have opportunity to say the good news. And can't nobody tell it like you tell it. Oh, no, y'all don't hear me. Can't. There's nobody can tell your story. They can speculate. I tell folks. Folks, will sometimes they'll, they'll try to count your money from across the street. I said, if you count my money from across the street, you might get the zeros wrong. It, and people don't understand what God has done for you. And they, you know, the, and, 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 and thank God we don't look like we've been through. You know, like, come on, come on. A amen. And, and, and that's why we need to get used to talking about the goodness of God. Um, there, was an, there was an experiment that they did on social media. They made sure, they put a thing on social media that was the, a lie and one that was a truth, right? And uh, I think it was um, the lie won popularity 76% to 36%. Are y'all hearing me? Yes, because people love a lie. And one thing that about a lie Lie, a lie is an equal opportunity employer. A lie will let anybody tell it. Come, it will let anybody tell it, right? Yes, um, but it's going to lead us to destruction when we start loving lies. 
And that's why the good news, the truth. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am what? The way. And what? The truth, see. And what? Yes, with all that to go together. Are y'all hearing me? And so we have to, when, when God has been good to us, we have to be really, right? We have to be the people who speak out. Who else is going to speak out? Come on. Huh? Amen. Who else is going to speak out about the goodness of God? Many people are going to go on television and buy advertising to tell, them how, to tell folks how good they are. Right? Watch. Come on now. Keep on watching. This is an election year. Folks are going to come up, and they're going to be telling you how good they are, and they're going to lie about somebody else, how bad they are. That's right. right? I don't know how much you know people, but you don't know how bad they are. You don't know how good they are. Come on, right? amen? Right. There's one person who can give that testimony. Come on. Right? Y'all still don't know whether OJ did it or not. Come on, somebody. You, you don't know. You wasn't there. And you don't know when, all you have is an opinion. But let me tell you what, the truth will be revealed in front of the throne. Amen. 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 The truth will be revealed right in front of the throne. Amen. Yes, yeah. Tell your neighbor, none your business. Amen. Come on. We got enough business to get straight. Come on, somebody. We got enough Business to get straight rather than tending to somebody else's business. But there's always one thing you should know. You should know about the goodness of God. You should know about the goodness of God. I'm fresh off the resurrection, so y'all, I'm a little hyped. Amen? I'm fresh off the resurrection of celebrating resurrection. Amen? And in that same situation, God has given me a vision, um, and um, I need to share it and stuff for y'all who can handle it. Amen? Uh, in our anniversary, we're coming up on another anniversary, amen, uh, that God has placed this unique service together. You see this service, you see a, a multicultural, multiracial uh, service, the thing that God is moving to because that's how heaven is, amen. amen, a progressive service. When you start looking at the things that we're, we're doing in education and technology and those things, and God is getting ready to take us to another level. And he has placed us in a place of growth. If you look around us, thousands of units of houses are being built around us. We've been preparing for that in here. Amen. Y'all didn't know it, but we've been preparing, amen, for that. And so we've been, uh, God has sent some of our angels out uh, to, to, to learn, right, learn more about some of the things that we need to prepare for here. Um, that's why we've had... Boeing come all the way. Come on, y'all been reading about Boeing. Boeing came all the way here, right, to partner with us. We continue that partnership so that they can get better and you won't have to worry about flying. Amen. <laughs> we're going to bless Boeing. Bo we thought Boeing was going to bless us. We bless them. Yes. We gonna, amen. We're going to tell them about integrity, right? And we, we learn about that. We learn about that every Friday and every Thursday in our golf situation. Amen. Y'all, we're, we're teaching these young engineers, right? We're teaching them about the velocity and trajectory, all of that in golf. We're teaching them that. Amen. 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 Aerodynamics, we're teaching them that in golf. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yes, we're teaching them about, you know, you want to know E equal MC squared, you can learn that. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Amen. And we need to understand that, that um, uh, God wants us to train up children the way they should go, right? right? God wants us to train up. Did you? Are y'all? Okay. It, it doesn't say, it doesn't give, uh, and, and, and we use uh, schools, we use teachers, but God says we train up children the way they should go. Our, our church trains. We, I bless teachers, principals, all of those folks and whatnot, but I, myself as a parent and as a pastor take full responsibility to coordinate with other folk to train up our children the way they should go. Are y'all hearing me? Now, we got some folks that are drop-off parents. Come on. They, they want to drop them off. At, 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 they will drop them off at first tee, and I'm supposed to straighten out all they stuff. They drop, drop them off. 
See, I, I, I remember, um, I remember, t- and I'm going to tell you all the story because I'm preaching about it. it, it I, I did this, um, I do this Boy Scout program. I did this Boy Scout program. So I set up an account because I knew I was in a kind of a, um, a, a neighborhood that's been left behind. So you had to buy uniform and stuff, right? I knew the parents couldn't afford the uniform. The Lord had blessed myself and my wife, and so we set up an account downtown. And so the kids went downtown to get the uniform, right? Because they had some single parent situations, <coughs> had some, you know, situations. One guy used to play basketball with all the time. He said, let me get you three boys and stuff. Mm-hmm. They went, got the uniforms and stuff, and they wore them everywhere but boys got. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the downtown wearing a boy, had a boy scout uniform and stuff. And wouldn't come to Boy Scouts. And so I said, man, I, and I went to him. I said, Gary, what in the world? What happened to the kids? And stuff, and, 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 and you know, got them the stuff. I said, yeah, we got the stuff. I said, I know I got, they got the stuff because I saw them. Mm-hmm. Right? He said, why they not come to Boy Scouts? He said, oh, I thought you were going to come and take them to Boy Scouts. <laughs> I said, I will. The thing is, is that, folks, let me tell you what. Um, we've got a situation where we got drop off, we got a drop off attitude. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's not supposed to feed our children. The school not supposed to raise our children. Come on. Yeah, y'all, come on, y'all go ahead and get mad at me. Want to? There's a thing called personal responsibility. We have a personal responsibility. And the Bible has going. He's going to. When Jesus comes back. He didn't say he's coming for a school or principal superintendent without spot or wrinkle. Not coming for the United States government. It may not, the United States government may not be here the way it acts. It may be a vapor. Uh, Okay, y'all, okay, see y'all ain't even with me. (laughs) All right, Uh, we're seizing them now. Huh? You have to go find a history book to find out what Come on, somebody. All right. Where's, uh, the, you know, the, the, the great, um, uh, uh, let's see, who else was that? Um, you name it, Stalin. You, you, come on down the list. You know, how about all the conquerors? How about the boys, the great? How about the boys, the great, huh? huh? Alexander, where he at? In a grave somewhere. He's a vapor and a memory. And stuff in the United States get arrogant, they're going to be a vapor in America. In America. Y'all, y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. And we get mighty arrogant, right? And it don't have to start here. Watch our ran. Don't have to start here. We get pulled into stuff. Are y'all hearing me? Okay. So that, uh, what I'm saying is that, that God has left us with enough information, right? And to whom much is given... To whom much is given, much is required, all right? And so I'm taking it serious that there's the things that we need to do holistically. That's why in here we talk about finance. This is why we talk about education. This is why we talk about engineering. This is why we talk about, you know, biotech, right? Because we're sending our saints into that. Are y'all hearing that? I hear you say amen. Okay? I hear you say Amen. But th- this is not just the Easter Sunday church. Amen. Right? This is all facets of your learning. Yes. Right? That's why we have, uh, you know, a, a, nur- a nurse who's a health director that tells us, comes up in and tell y'all about our stuff that's happening. So that, come on, that we're teaching folks. Right? Are y'all hearing me? Yes. And so that's, if, if in just in case y'all wondering what y'all are part of, that's what we're a part of. We're a part of a change the world situation. Amen? Amen. Okay? Y- y'all got it? Amen. Okay. Now, if the thing is, it don't take a whole bunch of us to change the world. Jesus started with t- uh, 12 and one was a devil. Y'all see y'all got scared. Because we start counting the 12. <laughs> we, get, we might one, two, three, four, eleven, and you, you know, you got this, you got some work. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Because we got more than eleven in here. All right. 
So, so the thing is, is that if he can start it with 12, amen, right, we have more than enough uh, to, to, to make a significant impact. Now, the impact uh, of the world needs to start at your house. Yes. You don't want, yes. come on, everybody y'all are green and your y'all are brown. You, come on, see, you hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Right? So it has to be, um, the thing is, it has to be launched here. The things have to be launched here. You got to think in a different way. Amen? 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 Amen. All right, so this anniversary, what we're launching is we're launching this, this worldwide ministry because we, we, just by a click of the button, we went worldwide. Uh, and see, some of y'all, uh, you know, we're thinking localist. Y'all thinking locally when there's an international thirst. Yes. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. And the challenge is, is what we're up against. Folks, if y'all will listen to some of the stuff that people are preaching out the pulpit. Come on, somebody. Out the pulpit. Out, out the pulpit. It says if they're getting checks from Washington or somewhere, getting checks from other places or somewhere, somebody gonna preach toward the check. Are y'all hearing me? Like they're sponsored by some other people, like Satan. I, I, I am here to tell you. I'm gonna let y'all know <laughs> this church ain't sponsored by Satan. This is a word church. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And whatever God says, right, and whatever, especially the stuff that's written in, in red, uh, Jesus, uh, all right, uh -huh. and what the Holy Spirit gives us, right, because there's some folk, come on, Lord, I, I don't even know if I can touch that in here. There are folk who are actually going by what is written in the Bible. But they're not going by the interpretation of the Holy Spirit. Okay, see if y'all, just in case, y'all might have to chew this up and give it to your neighbor because, you know, your mama used to have to chew stuff up because you get choked on it and they put it, they, that's what they did. They didn't have Gerber's, they chew it up and, and, and make sure you don't get choked on this meat. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, so the Bible says a lot, a lot. He said, hmm, let's just take one thing. And do, when God said, go out there, and I want y'all to kill everybody and not leave a thing. That's in the Bible. But you have to understand the context. God says, eye for eye and two for two. Y'all hear me? And so people don't even know what I mean. Eye for eye, two for two. If I, I, I just need to put y'all on, on blast, but you don't need it. Bless y'all, bro brothers. Good to see y'all. Eye for eye, two for two. He's speaking, actually, right? He's speaking today. Folks was like, okay, so that means that if Ashley do something to me and poke out my eye, I get to poke out her eye. <laughs> Come on. But what it is is teaching folks that, look, it's teaching folks restraint, actually. I have the authority, actually, to do that under the law. But through restraint, I can't blind her because she poked me in one eye. Oh, see, y'all didn't hear that. So Netanyahu has to understand that you can't kill all the Palestine. You can't start a world war because somebody acting up. That's eye for eye, two for two. You have to restrain. So the thing is, you punch out my tooth, the only thing I owe you is a tooth. You can't mess around and make me have, have to suck gummy bears. Are y'all hearing me? So young folk, if somebody, come on, they miss me. So, young folk, you can't, I can't call you out of name and then you go shoot up grandma's house and kill a seven-year-old. Y'all see what I'm saying? 
Because now, if you have an argument, you argue, I get to argue back to you. That's the only authority I have. Now, when I learn grace, I get to ignore your people. Because I understand you don't know any better. Now I provide grace. That's a progression. Are y'all hearing me? The folks that say, we can go do this because the Bible says eye for an eye. But they don't understand the rhema. Don't get it. <laughs> the rhema word. Like the right now word. Y'all see what I'm saying? Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Amen. That's why that, that, that we have to take authority with the church because the world doesn't know. Amen. The world is teaching, right, and using the internet, using all that. So we're going to, we launching today letting you know that we are now an international entity. That's our anniversary. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Is that we've practiced here enough with each other and stuff like that. Our, our praise team has done their work. Your pastor has done his work. The elders have done their work. We get ready to launch international. We've been practicing. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen? And so we're investigating on our educational process. Are y'all hearing me? Are y'all y'all ready for this? <coughs> y'all y'all better be ready. Y'all better be ready. Okay, because there's a blessing in it for you. We we have the components. What 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 don't we have? Anybody witnessed any, anybody witnessed, let's see, let's, let's pick one of the five, four, which one you want to do? Anybody mix, uh, saw any prophecy in here that's come? come <laughs> okay, I just wanted to. Yeah, come on. Anybody seen any teacher teaching in here? Yes, God. A amen. Hallelujah. All right. Okay, what y'all waiting on? Who we waiting on? What were we waiting on? Healing? Y'all seen some healing? Amen. Y'all ain't had no witnesses? Okay, just one on the thing. Okay. Uh, with in, the, in the evangelism. Yes. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just right. Okay. Just want to see if you've seen anything, any witnesses in here. Amen. Yeah. We have witnesses yeah. and stuff. So, so the thing is, now we can't keep it to ourselves. Y'all, right. are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Amen. Uh, so, so we're opening up and stuff. The folks have been asking. Actually, I just got a recent deal that. Um, you know, that they want me to come and, and teach some things in, uh, in the Navajo Nation wow. in Arizona. Amen. And I was like, oh, what is this right here you doing? And stuff like that. They said, we, we, you know, I'm, lady don't know me and stuff. She said, well, I, I was hearing the stuff and where Chris was talking about this thing and stuff right here. We need you to come help us. Wow. Amen. Yeah. yeah, I've been kind of staying local, staying under the radar and stuff like that. Folks asked me to be over here the other day, and the other thing, like, yeah, God is saying something <laughs> up in here. Amen? Yes. 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 They come and trying to get a piece of this. It, it, it is here. We, we've, got a, we've got a ministry um, from the little teeny ones. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Right? Right? To the seniors. We, yeah. We're ministering with that. In between. Come on, somebody. Yeah. We have, we have dealt with it, all of the major issues that are happening, we have dealt with in here. Folks are trying to figure out how to put art in Christ. We got artists in, in here Amen. giving people images of themselves so they can understand they made an image of God. We are collaborating with churches when churches don't collaborate. Come on. We got multilingual situations in here, in this place, in this place. So that y'all know. Come on, are y'all understand? Huh? Do y'all know y'all y'all pastor was the first African American um, um, American Marshall fellow? All the stuff you see in Europe mm -hmm. that when they came together as the European states, I was there during the formation. Mm -hmm. Chosen out of that, God chose me to go. Amen. Still have a relationship from that. Yes, are y'all hearing it? That's who pastor you. He equipped me for such a time as this. Are y'all ready to go international? Yeah. Oh, don't get. Tell your neighbor, don't get scared.
Don't get scared. Y'all put me some scripture up before these people get scared and run out of here. Like, oh, Lord, what has pastor got me doing? Amen. Go to John. Will y'all stand for just a moment? Let's read through this real quick. Let's hear this story. Y'all heard this story, read the story. It's going to be important for you to grasp this story for us to launch like we need to launch. Amen? It's going to be important. It's going to be very, very important. When, 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 when Bishop Jakes, um, we went uh, through West Virginia and went to, to, through his town. My class, one of my <coughs> classmates mar married a young lady and she was in Bishop Jake's ministry. His ministry looked a lot of like, like this ministry. Right here. In West Virginia. Now look at it now. Are y'all hearing me? And folks look back and think about this pastor in West Virginia being an international ministry. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. It starts in anywhere. I'm getting ready to show you how it starts anywhere. It just starts anywhere. Y'all got it? But you just got to understand time and place. Are you hearing me? Amen. So look at this. Early in the morning. Did y'all hear early in the morning? Okay. You all to sleep in. Bible talks about early in the morning a lot. <laughs> so, so does Proverbs. Come on, somebody. Early in the morning, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus is standing on the shore right now, and people are not realizing who he is. Amen. Come on. Amen? Amen. Okay. Just want to get that piece. <clears throat> he called out to them. Hey, friends. Aren't you glad that Jesus called your friend? Yes. Somebody ought to be glad right there. Come on. This thing right here is jam-packed. Haven't you any fish? And they answered back, no, no doc. <laughs> and then he, right, come on. They answered, no, they answered. He said, he said um, throw your net on the right side of the boat, right. and you will find some. <laughs> when they did, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. 150, oh, go ahead. No, that's too much. I didn't tell y'all. Okay. The disciple whom Jesus loved said, Peter, it's the Lord. And soon as Simon Peter heard him say, it's the Lord, he wrapped his outer garment around him for he had taken it off to he working and sweating, doing all that stuff. He took all the, you know, the boys, all they did was, well, they just had a little speedo on out there. Y'all see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all they did. Y'all had no overcoat on there. You know what I'm saying? He out there. That's all they had. Come on, somebody. And uh, he wrapped his outer garment back around him for he taken it off, and then he jumped in the water. That would have been the end of some of us, because. But it was only 100 yards. So. The other disciples followed in the boat, towing, like towing, the net full of fish, for they were not far from, okay, I did say 100 yards, far from shore, about 100 yards. Got it? Come on. When they landed, they saw a fire burning. 
good to have a fire burning in church. Amen. We had one this morning. Fire burning. Amen. Amen. And on the fire, huh, there were fish on it. And some bread. Some fish and some bread. See, y'all, anybody, you know, been around the country? Y'all been in the country? Y'all ain't been to a fish fry? Been to a fish fry? Uh-huh. Ain't but two things you got to have. I ain't even got to have a plate. So you give me some, a piece of fish and some light bread. You can put a period behind that sentence. Some of y'all cute people need some cocktail sauce and some slaw. You give me a hot fish off the cold. All I need is some bread. I don't need an invitation. All I need is some bread. I'm going to be your cousin. <laughs> y'all look for me. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You got to love some fish. Come on. And some bread. Y'all, all right? Y'all got that? See, see, some of y'all don't know about this because God has blessed you so much, you done forgot how good the simple blessings are. Come on now. I'm about there. Jesus said to them, why you coming? Don't come to nobody's house unless you bring something to Bring <laughs> some of the fish that you just caught. Some of y'all wouldn't even bring. Okay, see what I'm just saying? He's dealing with it. Y'all have y'all mess around, have two to, to go plates in the in the car, then you come to my house to get a to go plate. And that's how y'all how many I said 153? I got it right. So Simon Peter climbed back in the boat and dragged the net ashore. Uh-huh. It was full of large large fish. 153. But even with so many, the net was not broken. Come on, are y'all hearing me? Y'all got that? All right. Jesus said to them, come and have breakfast. None of the disciples dared to ask, who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Uh, Let's stop it right there. Let us bow. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. We thank you, dear God, that we've already gleaned so much out of the story, just reading the word. Now, dear Lord, let's get a rhema word. Give us a right now word. Dear Lord, from this, dear God, a word of activity, dear Lord. Now, dear Lord, um, we thank you this morning uh, for the goodness of God. We thank you, dear Lord. And in this sacred place, Father, dear Lord, let us get sacred in understanding, Father, before we leave this place and that we're launched into this world, Father, so that we can be leaders, dear God, not only leaders, dear Lord, but we can be life changers. In Jesus' name we pray. The church said amen. 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 I want to speak to you um, for a moment from this subject and, and just keeping this story behind you in your, your spirit. All right? Um, uh, uh, more to come. More to come. Uh, now, I want you to make sure you take a trip with me because unless you get the context of this, you won't understand you know, the, the, the powerful nature of, of this. This is what, and, and this is just for me, Pastor, you know, because it just came to me differently. God gave me this differently. You know, we just got out of the resurrection piece, right? You know that, um, that, 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 that um, here's Jesus had ended a three-year ministry with his favorite folks, right? You remember that he took them upstairs and said, let me tell you, all these things are going to happen. You going to deny me, other person going to kill me. Come on, somebody. In, look, he didn't say they were going to do it. He said folks right here inside, come on, inside the church was going to try to kill the message. That's right. Amen. Folks, you don't have to worry about the outside killing the message. That's right. That's right. You have to get people on the inside. When Jesus went on the outside preaching, all he did was just heal and feed. Yeah. Right? His real rebuking had to come with folk close to him. Right. Are y'all hearing me? The folks who were supposed to have the message. They were the folks, the, Fa- the Sadducees and the Pharisees, folks who knew better than anybody. He had to rebuke them boys. Y'all got the word. 
but y'all sitting on the word and oppressing the very people you're supposed to be teaching. Amen. Come on, somebody. Right. And sometimes in the church and stuff, we, we're oppressing, come on, the, the very people that we're supposed to be teaching. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. We're othering folks who we're supposed to be including. Right. But Jesus came that we would have life and have it more abundantly. Right. Come on, somebody. And so he comes and stuff, and then these, this lady comes out and stuff like that, and, 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 and you know, and the tradition is she ain't even supposed to be there, so Jesus almost called her a dog. Come on, because that's how she's been treated. She said, she, and Jesus, of course, him being one of the boys and stuff, he said, like, should I give, come on, right, this substance that I'm supposed to be giving to the people of God, to the dogs? And the lady said, I don't know, but I'm going to tell you what. I've been around cakes long enough that whatever, if you just let a crumb fall, I'll take a crumb because whatever in the, in the crumb is in the cake. Come on. Amen. If I had to say bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. You know, I'm going to get a piece of what you got. Right? Because I mean, how many know a little bit of Jesus? Yes. Come on. Some, a little bit of something true is a... Come on, is a whole lot better than a big lie. Amen. And folks are, are, are selling a whole lot of big, shiny lies. Right? But a little truth will get it done. Amen. A little truth will, come on somebody, a little truth will get it done. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Right? All right, so <clears throat> here we, here we, we have this, this, this situation where Jesus is taken into his inner circle. He's coming back to his inner circle because his inner circle, man, they, they, you, you, you've got to just kind of get these guys. These guys have been together for three years. They stopped what they were doing. They came. They listened, right? Then they, when Jesus sent them out, gave them some power, right? Gave them some power. So here, go out there, man. They came back. Man, you ain't believing what we did. Come on. They, they ain't got the whole power yet. Right? They just get a taste. They get just a little taste of the power. Came back, man, you, did you know that these folks right here, the demons ran when we came and all that? Oh, man. You know, they, they, they hot to death. They, they, like, wait a minute. Right? But imagine that hot for three years and people talking about them, hearing, come on, hearing these things about them. And then all of a sudden, right, the, the government and the church come and take him out. The government collaborates with one of the boys, one of your, come on, ace boom buddies, one of your ride or die, inside job, come, come on, and, and have the nerve to come kiss Christ, to eat with you at the table, come on, look, and to be treasure over the money. Are y'all hearing me? He gave some indications now. He already gave him some warnings. So why that woman putting all that stuff on you like that? See, he was already hating. Yeah, there are people who give you enough indication what they're about. Are y'all hearing me? Why? We could have done something else with that. Come on, in the meeting. In the meeting. We could have done something else with that right there. Just keep listening. Come on. And Jesus can make some more of that. Like, you see what I'm saying? Y'all get, get the context of the thing. He worried about in the spirit of scarcity. This woman comes and gives out of her heart. He critiquing the gift. Come on. Now you're going to critique a gift during the worship service. Oh, we, she ain't had to sing the song like that now. She ain't had to do all that. Come on, you, you, come on now. She ain't had to because she's showing out now. Was he saying that? She's showing out. We could have put something. We could have done that. So we could have put that money somewhere else. He already told folk where he was. But we didn't, they didn't see it. Jesus saw it. See, sure enough, if he put his hand in this basket, I'm going to talk about him. He said, look, I ain't saying who I'm talking about. I'm just talking about who I'm talking about. All right? Y'all don't remember him calling them names, right? Folk, cause folk knew who they were. You don't have to call people names. I used to call people names. I'm sorry. But people know who they are now. See, yeah, I, now I'm just talking generalities. Come on. And folk know who they are. They just get mad in secret. 
suck your own teeth. Don't listen. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Amen. You ain't got to call everybody out. They're going to call themselves out. I'm here to tell you. All you got to do is start moving in a direction, and they will call themselves out. Folks who don't have faith will holler. Come on. Folk, folks who don't like you and act like they're liking you and stuff, you and, and, they, and they can still act like that, that means you're not moving enough. Huh? That's right. That's a do enough for God to make them hot, man. Come on, somebody. Yes, indeed. Come on. Yes. And if everybody liking you and stuff, you're not doing enough. I'm here to tell y'all. Come on. All right. So this is what happens. All right. So all this situation happens and whatnot, and Jesus could keep pushing folk, and they keep pushing, and show sure enough, come on, they kill him. They, they kill him, right? Because they can't stand it no more. Come on, they were just like Popeye. I took it, and I took it, and I couldn't take it no more. Some of y'all young folk had to tell them. <laughs> and then, and so they, they orchestrate. And, and it's funny how folks have come together that were normally not together will come together for your demise. Wow. Come on, when you start doing something extra, the people who hate each other come together, right? right? And talk about this stuff that you're doing. Amen? That means you're on the right track. Right. And, and come on. And that's why you need to learn how sometimes there are people who are not good alone. You, you got to learn to be good alone. So sometimes you have to learn how to be good alone. Sometimes God is not going to speak to you with everybody in the room. Yeah. He said, well, God is not talking to you, talking to me. Well, who you with all the time? Because God come by to see you and say, let me go talk to somebody that ain't got no scruples hanging around them. Come on, read your Bible. Them serious conversations, right, happen a one-on-one -on -one situation. You didn't hear Jesus, you know, God coming in and talking to everybody? Did you? Y'all show me. Y'all show me in the Bible where God said, hey, everybody. <laughs> he said, pss, pss. come up this mountain, I got something to tell you, because they can't handle it. It's going to blow some folk mind. It's going to blow some folk mind because they can't handle it. Why? Because it takes a faith muscle to listen. Yeah. It, he that has an ear, yeah. let him hear. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And, and there are some things, folks, I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all, there's some things that we have missed early on because we didn't have the faith muscle to hear it. We were not ready. God has got blessings all over the place. Come on, he's talking and trying to bless you all over the place. Except for there's a time when it has to align with you. You have to be ready for that. Amen. See, sometimes folks are <laughs> telling lies on God. When God is ready, he'll bless me. No, when you ready. Yes. <laughs> when you ready. God been blessing for thousands of years. How about you? Come on, come on somebody. Somebody. And the deal is, is God is not going to. Come on. I said I had to tell it so y'all could remember it. Y'all won't remember it if I say it like a regular pastor. But God is not going to bless constipation. No, not at all. That's right. He blesses a flow. If he blesses it, it's going to stay in your system. It's going to be stuck in your gut. Come on, somebody. I had to say, he's not going to bless nobody sitting on here. Let it here. You ain't walking constipation. Don't mess somebody who got a flow. <laughs> you got to have a flow. Folks, you can tell people got a flow. They even walk with a flow. They smile with a flow. And you walk around here, and God ain't going to bless that. Because that's going to be a lie. You sitting here looking like this. You? I'm blessed with highly favored. <laughs> no, you done heard that. You ain't been that. Right. Amen. See what I'm saying? Now you got everybody confused. I'm blessed with high favor. I'm blessed with high favor. You's a lie. Exactly. Come on, you're worse than a parrot. Even the parrot is saying what he's saying, hello. 
He means more than you do. <laughs> Am I helping somebody now? Okay, let me get to the script. Let me get to the scripture. So the thing is, is that so it was an inside job to kill Jesus. Nobody want to say it. I'll say it. Inside job. They couldn't have done it outside. Come on. Do y'all remember Pilot Wife? Pilot Wife, <laughs> she said, "Don't you mess with that man." You better to leave that man. I ain't been to no church. I ain't been to no seminary. I did something about him. Just don't mess with him. Pillar talk. Look, chief. You don't, do not mess with him. Did she tell him? Yes. She told him. Yes. Look, this lady, she won't see her. Come on. she Because women couldn't do all that. But women always knew. Right? Yes. Women always knew the deal. It was, I just told you, a woman came in, everybody, men hanging around, they supposed to be all this in a bag of chips. One woman get on her knees and wipe the man's feet. And Jesus said, y'all ain't do nothing. She knew who I was. He is a lady, Pilate's wife, who don't bother that man. Something up with that. Come on, somebody. Y'all need to start listening to people from wise counsel, okay? That's why you need to have people around you that are wise. See, we like entertaining, we like entertaining folk. You so stupid, I, I can both of y'all be broke, sick, and dead. <laughs> Look, if I want a comedian, I'm gonna get me one. I'm gonna do this, but in life, I don't need a comedian. Amen. I need a partner yes. that talks some sense. Come on, I, and I can laugh with my partner and stuff, but when it comes for real, come on. You need to know something. And this woman knew something. That's probably how Pilate got to be Pilate. But the time he didn't listen, you see? Don't mess with him. Okay, and I'm going to do the Pilate thing. I'm going to do the politic thing. Come on, I'm going to do the politic thing because this is going to make me popular. You better be popular at home. You please the whole world? Come on. Y'all, y'all, I'm a, which one you want? Barabbas? Jesus. Y'all remember this? Yes. He flaked out. Because he knew they were going to pick Barabbas. They knew it politically. He did the politically correct thing. Are y'all yes. saying? Yes. Okay. So now, where's Rome? Remember, that, that, look, before Pilate did that, the sun didn't set on the Roman Empire. And he didn't listen to his wife. Rome is a town. Are y'all hearing me? It's a place where people go go do vacation. Are y'all hearing me? Folks, let me tell you, there are people who know, right? And you need to understand the power of messing with God. Right? And there are people who don't know much about God, but they know enough about God to not touch their anointing. Right. People that ain't been to church know that scripture. Mm-hmm. They know, don't mess with him. I, I'm here to tell you. Okay? So, all right. So what happens, all right, imagine they have this momentum in the inside job, they kill the leader of, of your whole church, your whole church body. You see what I'm saying? Now that has to be depression. You know, a lot of depression going on. Got to be. Especially with Peter. Why? Last word Peter talks about Jesus is I don't know him. Right? Don't you know I'm on you with him? Uh Uh-uh, I don't know him. Jesus told him in their last fellowship together, you're going to deny me. Uh Uh-uh, Doc, I'm going to be with you. I don't care if Rosa now, I don't care about Soroy now, I don't care about Miss B, and I don't care about Kathy. I'm going to be with you. Oh, you know it. Y'all got to bring it to life. You know, other people, I don't know about Brenda. 
I don't know about it, but I'm going to be with you. You know I'm going to be with you. I'm the man that cut the man. I am going to be with you. You know he had all that mouth going. Yeah. And there are a whole lot of people got mouth in the church. But when it comes down to it, if somebody asks you out there, come on, what you believe, you can't even get it out. Let's talk about something else. Come on. And that's denying Christ. Yeah, I'm going to let pastor talk. I'm wait. I ain't messing with them people. I ain't saying nothing to them. Come on. I ain't saying nothing to them people right there. Come on. That's a, yes. Y'all, some folk who done made, got up in their mind. They're going to do what they're going to do anyway. Come on, somebody. They're going to do what they're going to do anyway. That ain't my job to go talk to them. I ain't talking to them folks. Now. You know, people crazy these days. Come on. So who going to go do go ye therefore anyway? Who going to do that piece? Who going to go ye and tell folk a dying world how they can live? How in the world are you going to let sick people walk around and you got the antidote in both of your pockets and especially in your mouth? How are you going to let your children and your children's children keep doing what they're doing and you not say one word out the Bible? Because a man that does not provide for not only his children, but his children's children is considered less than an infidel. And you don't have to pull a dime out your blue bank account or your 403 or your 401k. That's not what it's about. What is your spiritual inheritance? What have you experienced um, spiritually that you have found to be truth? That nobody else can tell your family like you can tell. Not even me. And I'm a, tru- I'm a trained truth teller. But your witness is going to be stronger than my witness. Are y'all hearing me? For those folks, God has got a select number of people that you'll be able to minister to that I won't ever meet. And so I have to prepare the saints. This is the preparation of the saints for you to have a diaspora and leave this place today and go tell somebody else about the goodness of God. Now you don't mess around and, uh, no, 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 and you won't talk about the goodness of God. Come on. You need to talk about the goodness of God for you. Oh, my pastor told me that story the other day. That's your pastor's story. What's your story? I'm just showing you how to tell the story. But you have a story. Come on, somebody. Y'all, y'all hear what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, so here it is. Uh, and, you know, these guys have seen all these witnesses, and they've been a witness to all this stuff prior to the resurrection. I mean, prior to the resurrection and prior to the death of Jesus. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So imagine you have this movement going. Your church is moving, and you mess around and had 5,000 people at the fish fry the other day and 4,000 at the fish fry the other day. And every time somebody reach over and touch your man, your pastor's thing, oh, Lord, I've been healed. You got all this stuff falling out people. You know what I'm saying? They throwing people out in the street, and they naked, and he's saying go and don't sin no more. And they hopping, you know, everything hopping, right? The bishop, you know, Bishop Jesus. And then they kill him. Right? A few more days and stuff. I got Vanessa over at the rest home. She got Ashley over there. She got the whole praise and worship team back over at the rest home. They done stop church. I mean, they fishing now. Well, we better go back to North. We know. Because <laughs> we know we can do the rest home. <laughs> we know we can doing good over here. Come on, they, re- they went back. Man, we ain't doing no more of this evangelism stuff because they'll kill you evangelism. <laughs> that evangelism, all that stuff right there, speaking in tongues and stuff, we're going to wait because them folks killing folks. If they kill him, you know what they're going to do to us. Come on, are, are y'all hearing me? Look, Peter has already been prophesied to. So look, this is how they're going to kill you, dog. <laughs> y'all, y'all, are y'all, are y'all hearing that? Y'all got to understand what the context of the deal. So the boys are out there, and they're fishing and, and stuff. And how many knows that when it rains, it pours? Right, it rains. When it rains, sometimes it pours, y'all. 
And that when, when, something, when, something, when situations come to take your faith, man, they try to take all your faith. Right? They don't, come on, let me say. Look, you can't even flip coins in the tail. You like, like, come on, the coin has two tails on it. You have to look at it. I'm serious. I mean, when stuff won't do right, you come on, the car start acting in the fool, the light bill go up at the same time, your nose gets snotty, everything. Come on. Uh, anybody know? Come on. Anybody have no semi-Job situation? We ain't had no Job situation, y'all. Don't even try it. But some semi-Job situation. Right, because you come off this high mountain. You come off this high mountain, right? And this move, this, this difference between the real high high when you come out of church, and you everybody here, everybody good, raising hands, everybody with you, and then you got to go back to hell out there. Come on, you got to go into a hellacious world that don't care nothing about you raising hands in here. Amen. As soon as you raise a hand in here, they raise ready to raise up two to you. Come on. Uh-huh. Are y'all hearing me? That's, true. That's how it is. But so the thing is, is this, is Jesus put this in here for me. He put this in here for me, and I didn't know it. He put it for me, Doc, because you come in there, you have this high time and stuff. You got collaborators and that kind of stuff, and then all of a sudden, you got this drought, man, because the reality of the thing is that, the God, that, that people want to kill God's people. Yes. They want to kill all kind of movements, right, that's, that's different than theirs. If they can't control you, they have no use for you. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Y'all need to hear me. If they can't get you to say what they want you to say, buy what you want to buy, that kind of stuff, and get you to walk in lockstep with them, I'm here to tell you, folk don't want you. I just told you something that's a nugget. Folks talk about freedom, but they do not want you to be free. Free people, free thinking, people are trouble. I know because I'm one of them. I can go along with you just like this right here, and all of a sudden I say, mm-mm. That's right. Yes, sir. I could be a member of your fraternity. I could member, <laughs> come on. I, I could be a member of your family. And, Doc, you start moving this way here, I say, uh-uh, I don't know about that. Some folks just keep on, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I was like, mm-mm. He said, what you waiting on? I'm waiting for the Lord to tell me about that. I love you, but I ain't agreeing with you on that. Folk will know that about me. I'm not going there now. I'm not going with you on that. They have a problem. Folks have a problem with you not being your ride or die buddy. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm going to ride with you, but I ain't dying with you for that. Some of the stuff you want to die over ain't worth it me dying over. Y'all come roll with me and stuff because I want you to be mad at them because I'm mad at them? Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, uh-uh. I'm going to do my own madness. Thank you. I ain't getting no headache because you got a headache. I'm just sorry. I love you. Let me get you an aspirin, but I ain't going to have a headache with you. Are y'all hearing me? Misery love company. They want you to hate the ones they hate, want you to be with the ones you, I, I know that's not me. I'm not the one. Come on, somebody. are y'all hearing me? I'm deciding to love everybody because I don't want to wake up in hell with you. Are, are y'all hearing? Some people don't, don't believe in hell. I believe in hell. I believe hell is hot. Come on. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Are y'all hearing me? Okay. I don't like my toast burnt, so I ain't doing it. Are y'all hearing me? So, so here are, 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 are the boys, okay, they've been hanging together. I, you know, my, maybe about, not all of them. There's just a few of them that's on the boat. They say, okay, you know, Jesus ain't here to make no fish. Are y'all hearing me? That Jesus who said, Give me this right here, and everybody ate. He ain't here. So they get back out there doing what they used to do. Right. Amen. And so I used to be critical of that, but I'm so glad they did, because we will return back to what we used to do. Now, we, we get used to something, we'll go right back. Come on. Amen. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. We'll, we'll return back to what we're comfortable with and what we've been trained. The boy's been trained. And, you know, the deal is, is, you know, while Paul was a tent maker, you know, I mean, he went to tent making, he said, and Paul would do it like this right here. Y'all can support me if you want to. You can have a pastor's anniversary and stuff like that. But if not, I'll make some tents. I ain't one with y'all. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm, if I had to go back to what I'm doing, I would do that. He would write to folks and stuff. Thank y'all for the support. Thank you for not the support. He would do that. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And, and, and because those guys said, we're going to work. We're going to get this work done. Right? 
And so the boys were busy. They were up. They've been up all night. So they weren't lazy. Some of y'all wouldn't have made it. Y'all wouldn't have been there. There's some folks. They didn't say all of them was on the boat. There's some of them on the boat because some of them still sleep. That's just how it is. Right? Everybody ain't going to get up in the morning and come up here and stuff. And the man play the piano. And y'all do it. And come up here last night and do it. Everybody ain't going to do that. Right? Everybody ain't going to stay up um, reading the Bible and doing that. So ain't nobody going to come. They ain't not doing it. Uh, y'all, they're just not going to do it. Folk are not be, folks during the week, this might be the last time that y'all think about Father's Cup all week long. And might not think about it next Sunday. I'm just here to tell you. Folks don't even believe Sunday coming until Jesus come about them clouds. Then you're going to be, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus said, who are you? I don't know you. You don't think about me enough. I'm here to take. So let me tell you, these guys up here, now, so they're working and stuff, they're working, and they work all night long. Not one fish, not a catfish, not a guppy, not, come on, the Bible, come on, they ain't got nothing, and the, and the problem, and see, that's not significant to you, because y'all can go down there, you know, and get a hot fish, Anytime. Burger King to mess y'all up. You can get a hot fish and some bread all the time. Anytime it's over 24-7, you get a hot fish. Y'all can do that. So now it's not a critical to you when you read there ain't no fish. See? But you have to understand there's no fast food. There's no fast food. So y'all don't get that. That's why I have to tell it to you because the kids in here don't even understand no food. Now, maybe there might be two or three people here to understand no food. But God has been so good, there are very people, few people in this time right here in this church that know anything about no food. See, some of y'all ain't seen no powdered milk. Y- y'all ain't seen powdered milk in the government box. Y'all ain't seen the cheese. Come on, that you try to cut it up so your friends didn't know where that cheese came from. Come on, y'all didn't know. Y'all had to peel the jelly off the spam. It wasn't spam. Y'all don't see. That, y- you had to pull the syrup, the, the juice off the peanut butter to get to the peanut Y'all, uh uh-uh, see. Somebody tell them later. I ain't got time to tell y'all about the welfare stuff that we had. Come on, that we changed the jar so you didn't know what was in there. Come on, y'all don't know. Y'all don't know about no food. Right. But these folk understood, right, to provide, they had to get up and get it done. And so them boys stripped down out of their little tidy little clothes, and they had to go get it. The world had robbed them of their hope. We can't take a little boy's lunch no more and feed everybody. We got to get on the boat and get it done. Are y'all hear what they're saying? They have lost their bishop, their leader. They've lost their hope, and they've been out there all night. And not only have they lost their hope, they've lost their substance. Folks, there's no refrigerator. You can't go to the pantry at Father's Cook. If you don't do anything tonight, somebody's going to die. Y'all need to understand that. We don't understand that. See, we got, we're in a life that, well, if Ashley don't do it, somebody will. Yes. And, and we'll do that in the church. Well, if they don't get saved today, maybe somebody will save them down the street. There are people going to hell over that. Some people are letting their children just roam. And say, well, they'll learn it later on. They might die at 11. They may not learn it. Because God will hold them accountable at the age of accountability, and it may not be 12. It might be 8. Come on, somebody. So folks have lost their sense of urgency because of our sense of comfort. God has blessed us so much with so much stuff that we don't understand what these wars are about. Y'all see? And they say, if we don't do this, the village is going to starve. Not just us. The village is going to starve. Are y'all hearing me? Oh, Lord. But look, somebody called out. Fellas, y'all got any fish? Let me talk to y'all. After the resurrection, after the death of Christ, 
after the crucifixion of Christ, somebody's yelling from the shore. It sounds familiar, but since it's dark out here, because it's early, I don't want to say who it is, but something in my spirit says it sounds familiar. Come on, somebody. And you know, he, Jesus had a little bit of a smart mouth with him. Y'all need to know that Jesus had a little smart mouth with him. Y'all caught in the thing? <laughs> Come, he, don't you know he knew? He knew how many shrimp they had. Up there. Y'all know what I'm saying. He knew, what the, he knew how many holes was in the net. And he said, y'all, y'all got anything? He's sitting up there. Look. Because he cooking. He's smelling fish grease. He's sitting up there with supply. Because he got all power, all knowledge, everything in his hand. Y'all got anything, dog? <laughs> y'all got, he, and it's probably hard for him to stop from laughing. Y'all got anything? Y'all out there naked? Y'all got anything, dog? <laughs> After all the stuff I done showed y'all, y'all got anything? <laughs> he said, but, no, but, but I got to show this, brother. I got to show this to Andy. I got to show this. I got to show this to Ashley. I got to show this to Rail. I got to show this to Father's Cup and stuff. I got to show you this right here. Because, see, everybody thought the resurrection was the largest thing. But the thing is, what he shows you is that there's an after after. Yes. There's an after after. No, no, no. There's an after after after. There's an after. Come on, after this, you know. And resurrection is wonderful because he got up, you know, he got over the, and, and the And the crucifixion, the thing, it was sad, but it was wonderful because he became sin so that I would know no sin. Y'all need to understand. That was beautiful. But the other thing is this, is that I'm not done yet. They done kill me. They done drug me. They done scandalized my name. And I'm not done yet. Come on, yes, all that wonderful about the angel coming to shine their clothes and telling everybody, that's a great thing. Y'all came with your bonnets the other Sunday and stuff, but I'm not done yet. Indeed, I'm not done yet. And so the deal is, is that it was like, it, 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 my man gets so freaked out over it, he put on his best coat again and stuff like that, and jump in the water, I'm rolling, I'm jumping in the water. He forgot the head boat. He lost his boat. Lost his entire mind. Jumped in the water. He's only 100 yards away and stuff. He jumped in the water. He's going to swim a football field with a coat on. And he lost it. He lost it. He said, because the deal is, is that um, he had some, some evidence. He heard a voice that was familiar. He was not sure until he followed the race. No, y'all didn't hear. <laughs> that was so good, actually. They missed that right there. They heard the voice, but it didn't sound for me until they threw the stuff on the other side. Amen. When they listened, because he didn't have an ear, let him hear. And when they put it over the other side, it just don't make no sense, because we've been fishing probably on both sides of the boat all night. And I throw it on there, and all of a sudden, it fills up. I know who that is. Let me get my coat. <laughs> let me get my coat, because can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. I've been fishing a long time, but the only way you can do that right there, because Jesus is on the shore. That's the only way that that can happen, that you can move from zero to 153 fish. Come on, in just a second. Come on, and I've been here all night. The only one that can do that, I had to just put the voice with the action. When I put the voice with the action, I got rainbow work. Yes, indeed, it is now. That's a now thing. And not one of them fish could have jumped in that net a minute before he said yes. Not one of them. Not one of them. Not one of them. Not one, not one minnow, not one shrimp could have jumped in that net until he said, ready. And folks, let me just tell you, is that when you ready, he ready. When you ready, 
to listen to that voice. He ready to fill your neck. And they said that they pulled and they pulled and dragged. He said, go ahead and bring it, Doc. Bring some of them. Bring some of them. Because what I miss more than anything and what you need to know, what I came down here for, the most beautiful thing that he came down here for is not to maybe heal the lady with the issue of blood. That was wonderful. And it's wonderful to feed the 5,000 of them. Wonderful. And the 4,000. And have some left over. Amen. Not just to get the guys with the leprosy to show you he can do 10 at a time. Come on. And then some of them wouldn't thank him. But it'll be all right. Just let one come by and say thank you. Amen. You be that one. Oh, that's beautiful. They said this right. I don't want that, but I wanted to let Vicky know that more than anything, yes, I want you to be healed. Yes, I want you to have things. They said, but the main thing I came back for, they bring you, bring your stuff to the shore. Because the main thing I want to be is your friend. Yes, Hallelujah. I want fellowship with you. Amen. Oh, when I fellowship with you, you're going to get something to eat now. I ain't going to let you go without. You're my friend. But the deal is, I don't want you to eat without fellowship. I don't want you to have without fellowship. Main thing I want is fellowship. Y'all see what I'm saying? I'm coming back so I can be with you. And I don't want to be with you occasionally. I want to be with you forever. Are y'all hearing me? In that, he's still going to heal. He's still going to provide. But he wants fellowship. I want to fellowship with you. I came back to fellowship with you. Because my father wants you forever. He never wants us to be separated again. If you have to jump off a boat, you need to go see him. (laughs) Come on, somebody. If you have to do the odd thing, the thing that you thought you knew you were doing. And some of y'all said, I, I've been doing this for a long time. It's all right. But make sure you put his voice with the action. Because there's more to come. He ain't done yet. I don't care how old or how young you are. I don't care if you feel like you missed your graduation date. Uh-uh. School still open. He had school still open after the guys thought it was over. It's over. It's too late for me. I'm sorry. One day is like a thousand. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like a thousand years. This is the concept of God. The little stuff we're messing with, he's one thousand. He's one thousand. And then there's that one, when, when Jesus coming back? Well, he ain't been gone but two days. <laughs> Think about it. 2,000 years, two, one, two thousand. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. And he wants to live with us and hang with us forever. That means there's more to come. If that miracle has not come yet, that means it's still yet. If that promise has not come yet, it ain't going nowhere. I'm sorry, that's bad English, but you get it. Are y'all hearing me? And he loves it when the world says no. He loves it when the world said no. And he'll say, they said no to me too, but look at me now. People still talking about me. I'm still walking with them. I'm still, I'm still raising up. I'm still doing miracles. And what miracle are you going to get because you listen to him? What miracle are you going to get today? What miracle is our church going to get today? Because we decided to throw over on the right side. And we're listening to him. Y'all got that? After the resurrection now. After they killed him, after they buried him. 
he shows up for us. He shows up for us, and it may seem like we've been toiling too long, but all we got to do is listen for him to say, friend, friend, I died so that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And that struggle you're doing, that you feel naked in, get your coat ready. Get your coat ready to dive in. Get your coat ready to dive in. Get ready to wrap up and dive in. Because there's more to come. Wrap up, wrap up. Get your coat ready. This is not just a cute message. It's reality. Get ready. Get ready to listen. To what, what, what is it? What is he saying? And he's not going to say it to us as a crowd. Getting your word. The reason why you're getting your word, Scott, is because you got to be familiar with who's talking to you. The reason why they were able to discern that after a while is mm, I know that voice and I'm going to put the voice with the action. I know when that voice happens and you act, when I saw that multiplication, I know who that is. Are y'all getting it? You have to look and see how he operates and listen to his voice. And when you put those together, you say, oh, there he is. There he is. Get my coat. Let's go. Let's stand. Amen. Well, More to come. More to come in your life. More to come in our ministry. All we got to do is listen. Who is that? I know that. I know that voice. I know who that is. And what do you want me to do? Cash your net. On the opposite side from where you thought it's supposed to be. <laughs> and everybody going to think you crazy. Somebody going to come up there, Pastor, you know I've been fishing for some, some years. I've been pastoring for such and such years. My daddy was a pastor and stuff like that. I ain't never done nothing like that. Good. <laughs> you just confirm what I need to do. <laughs> we need to be willing to do something odd for Jesus because he did something very odd for us. Amen. What man would lay down his life? Who would do it? Are y'all got it? Please activate this word. Activate this word. Lord, you know, this is your prayer. Lord, I want to hear you. And then I want to do what you say. Simple as that. Lord, I want to hear you. I want to rain my word. I want to know exactly what I need to do. And then I want to do what you say. See, you don't have to ask him for 153 fish. Because fish may not be what he wants for you. If Jesus gives you an abundance, do you care what's in the net? And some of y'all say, were they spots? I don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I'm saying. What kind of fish were they? They were big fish. They were big fish. They were Jesus fish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you see? And so we're, and the deal is, is that you got to be smart enough to just listen to him and do what he says and then be ready for the abundance. Hallelujah. That's right. And, God, if I had time, to, I, I don't use up too much time. The thing is, uh, just one little piece. Can I take you home with this? What, what happened to your little neck? What happened to the net? It's important to know what happened to the net. Hmm? 
He blesses you without sorrow. Somebody, there's some stuff you're going to get that's going to break you. There are folk and stuff. Come on. Amen. Get, I don't know how many gold records did Prince have? <laughs> and he broke it. Right. Net full. Right. Jackson? Yeah. Net full. Got the dreams. I'm famous. Net broken. God will bless you with the desires in your heart and you're intact. <laughs> matter, matter of fact, stronger than designed. <laughs> Y'all, somebody need to get that. Now, it might seem like an all-night situation, like I'm thinking like pastor preaching all night. <laughs> but sometimes it takes time for you to get it. He said, you have to talk, and it might not look good. And it might, you got finger cramps, brain cramps, all kind of cramps. But one time, he's like, in the morning, somebody call from shore. When you get quiet enough, they say, don't do that, do this. And your stuff come in, and it's intact. It ain't tore up nothing. Intact. Nothing needed, nothing broken. Somebody say shalom. Shalom. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Woo. Lord, have mercy. Thank you for that message, Lord. <laughs> I needed that right there. Nothing needed, nothing broken. Anybody? Are you praying for somebody? You want to holler it out right quick? I'm gonna get you to. I'm gonna get you to lunch because we gotta have another service in a minute. Pam, gotcha. Ready for her fish to come in. Miss Rachel, her fish. The nets all at least okay. Amen. Mm. Okay, lift him up. Just lift him up. Amen. <coughs> Who? Harris family. Harris family. Amen. Cynthia Jacobs. Cynthia Jacobs. Amen. Sister Cynthia. Anybody else? Amen. Wayne Dunn. Amen. Wayne Dunn. Amen. China Johnson. Johnson. Amen. China Johnson. Okay. Amen. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Thank you for putting me up in there. Hope you put my mama, my brother, my sisters. Amen. Amen. Everybody. everybody. It sound like that, that sounds like Garnell Press. I want everybody. I want everybody. Mother Hemingway. Amen. Who pray? Who pray for Garnell? Because she always praying for everybody. Amen. A Amen. 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 All right. Amen. Amen. The branch and everything. Baptism. Oh, yeah. Baptism coming up. Amen. Pray for the Spanish service coming up. All right. Amen. Let us, let us bow. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just thank you, dear God. We're still calling out names and we're calling out blessings, Father. Dear Lord, you came back to show the fellow really who you are. Who you are. That, that the miracles didn't stop. That the miracles didn't stop. There was more to come. And, and the miracles have not stopped. And they will not stop until thy kingdom comes. And, and that's a miracle in itself. And we thank you, dear God, for the small miracles a little piece of fish can tell us. That in our abundant world, we don't know what fish is telling us. Don't. It should tell us that you can make a way out of no way. And we thank you. So, dear Lord, you have a way out of cancer. You have a way. Dear Lord, you have a, have a way out of depression. You have a way out of poverty. You have a way out of terrible relationships, dear God. You can turn those things. If we listen toward the shore, 
and then we're obedient to the instruction. Dear God, we will have bountiful, bountiful. We will reap bountiful blessings. And it will be blessings without sorrow. We receive that right now. We receive it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for being Jesus. And that you would keep teaching after death. We thank you, dear God, that your lessons and your wisdom, those are those things are eternal. And we thank you that they are in us. We just have to talk about it enough to bring it out of us. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Now, dear Lord, we just celebrate right now. We celebrate the healing. We celebrate the wholeness. We celebrate the new things that are coming out of this revelation today. Folks who have been holding back now have thrown some stuff on the other side of the boat. Sometimes they throw some stuff off the boat. Amen. And, and dear God, we just thank you, dear Lord, for the bountiful harvest that's going to come, that is coming right now. Yes. Let us be prepared to tow it into shore. Yes. And dear Lord, when we've done all these things, we will not take credit for one thing, but give you all the glory, Hallelujah. all the honor, yes. because you have all the power. Yes. Dear Lord, if you watch us, we'll be watched. Yes. If you deliver us, we'll be delivered. Yes. Dear Lord, we thank you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And they said together, amen, amen, amen. 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 There's more to come, y'all. Amen. Good to see everybody. Um, one, one thing, just wanted to make sure, remember that we've got baptism, amen, Wednesday, here, at, at 7 o'clock, right? Right here. Amen. We're setting it up here. Um, uh, one of the things I didn't do, if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Savior, you know I don't close without that. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Savior, I'm going to stay right here, all right, for you to come. If you need to confess Jesus today, I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to wave at y'all at the door. Um, Ricky will shake your hand in my stead. Amen. But I, but I didn't get that done. And if you, um, the, the doors of the church are open, and we, if you want to be baptized Wednesday, you can come up here and confess today, and we will get you going right now. If you want to be a join in this fellowship, you can do it by Christian experience, right? Amen. All right. Or you can say, I, I received Jesus Christ as my Savior. Hallelujah. I knew there was a reason. <laughs> Spirit wouldn't even let me go. You came for profess Christ as your Savior? Okay. You receive him as your personal Savior. All right. You want to be baptized? All right. We got you. you gonna, can you be here Wednesday? As sure as you here Wednesday, the Lord let me be here, we, you're going to get wet. You're going to come up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is there anyone else? Don't have a, ch a church home or you can join here and we can get you baptized today. Anybody else? Amen. You good. You good. Amen. Amen. Say God be the good. Amen. Amen. Say God be the good. Amen. 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 God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. God be the glory. Amen. 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 You want to be baptized? Amen. Yes. Amen. All right. You're professing Jesus Christ as your Savior. Amen. You're professing Jesus Christ.